Good morning. I am running late, so I'm going to make a bed while I'm doing this. But I was in the shower and I was thinking about um, <clears throat> how we have, they call them denominational streams, but I believe they're more like denominational puddles. That would be a better word for it because there's really no life coming into it. Um, and so the idea is this, my dad and I were talking this morning and we we're talking about how a lot of times when people are hearing scripture or reading scripture or being taught, a lot of times what they're being taught justifies where they are and what they believe instead of coming to scripture and reading scripture with open hands and an open heart and allow the Holy Spirit to make it come alive. Um, where I go to church, think about this, the enemy is at the best at divide and conquer. He is the original on divide and conquer. Jesus actually taught, they will know that you are my disciples by the way that we love one another. Yet there's so many of these denominational puddles where we get stuck in our own little groove. Um, and you want to find a church where you can relate to what they believe and where you are, but I don't agree with everything that my church believes or my pastor believes. I love his heart and I love the majority of what he believes, right? But not everything, but I love him and I love the people in the church. Um, but we can all, the, the side issues and stuff, we can disagree on and still yet love one another. That's what this is about rather than just uh, being in this place where you have to agree with everything that, that people are in your church. No, not at all. We all are, are in different places in our life and we're, we're uh, learning as we go. Um, we come from different backgrounds and some of the stuff that I believe today, I didn't believe two years ago. I've been, things have changed, you know, because I'm, I'm coming with an open open heart and open hands for God to teach me through his word and through his Holy Spirit. So um, that is my point today that, you know, it for one, it shouldn't be called denominational streams because it's stagnant a lot of times when it's, think about that, you know, just the idea of when we read scripture or we're in a denominational puddle we just want to prove what we already believe instead of God being able to teach us as we go. God being able to shape us and mold us more into the image of his son rather than, no, this is what we believe and I'm going to use scripture to, to prove what I already believe. So you become stagnant and there's no growth, there's no life, right? Anyway, that's my heart. God bless y'all.